Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Let's Jaria Wala Season 2, Episode 3. In this program, we bring you ideas on leadership, enterprise, and technology. Three words that I think I've been exploring my work in as a trainer and social entrepreneur. I'm very pleased to bring people that I'm inspired by, whose ideas I think have merit and they need to be received by many, many Pakistanis and this show is a way of getting them across. I'm very happy to bring you somebody who has had a huge impact, he and his team on the education sphere in Pakistan. We all have to remember the importance of education and to give it a different way. They have a big hand for their team and their team. Mushraf Zaidi has been a public policy professional with over two decades of experience. Uh, he's a regular column writer uh, and a development worker. His most recent assignments, the one that I mentioned, is named as Alif Elan, which has been a very, very successful campaign to help Pakistan's education crisis, awareness of it, and creating enough grounds for advocacy and pressure building on it. Uh, he's been honored by the World Economic Forum as the young global leader in 2014. And he's also been the principal advisor to the Foreign Minister of Pakistan until 2013. Um, lots of experience, uh, tremendous personality. Thank you very much, Musharraf Saab, for being on the show. It's a great pleasure. Thank you, man. Thank you. And so I, I can keep reading the profile introductions, but every guest I have, I ask them to define their own selves as well. Um, how do you look at yourself? I think of myself as a bridge. Um, I, I think that uh, Allah has been very kind to me in allowing me to be parts of many cultures. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I, I consider myself a Karachiite, but I know people, Karachiites like you don't, you, you're not too happy about this because you say, Tum Islamabad ke ho, tum uh, You know, I, I was born in Canada. I was raised there uh, for many years. I lived in the Middle East when I was a kid, lived in Karachi, went to university in Lahore. Uh, my mom was born in, uh, in, in Aligarh, in India. My dad was born in a place called Bulanshahar uh, in India. Uh, but my mom grew up in sort of a combination of India and Bhavalpur and Karachi and my dad grew up entirely in Hyderabad, Sindh. Um, my, me and my sisters grew up in four or five different places. Uh, you know, we, we, we like to think of ourselves as multilingual and multicultural, but 100% Pakistani uh, and 100% many other things as well. Muslim, uh, Manchester United fan, you know, there's a, I mean, identity is really mixed. So, so what I think, uh, the way I think about myself is that my job is to help connect people who are not connecting. My next question is sort of, I think you will be able to sort of build upon what you've already said, coming from different um, uh, cultures within the family, being in different places, and then now calling yourself a bridge. What is that one principle that you've held on to and that you believe that, you know, people who are listening to this should also consider? Uh, I think you have to make room for others. If you've been as privileged as I have, and, and I often think, alhamdulillah, I've, maybe nobody's been as privileged as I have. But I know that people do have privilege. You, Umair, are, are very privileged, alhamdulillah. You speak so eloquently and you engage people and you inspire so many people. Uh, your job isn't just to inspire. That's kind of your day job. Like my day job is writing and, and trying to process, you know, what's, what's happening in the world to help governments and to help people understand how to make better public policy. Yours is how to make better people, mm -hmm. to motivate people. But I think we also have a concurrent responsibility to make room. Mm -hmm. So as a leader, uh, your job isn't just to lead, it's to cultivate leadership. Mm -hmm. uh, it's to make sure that you make, uh, you make, maybe make is a, is a strong word because takhliq to Allah ke hath mein. But, but you, you, enable. you help enable others to take your job. Like I think the most successful leaders are the ones that have four or five colleagues who could easily do their job, right? If, if, if you know, they could switch for, for that guy. And, and that's when you make great leaders. And this country actually needs leaders who are making more leaders rather than leaders who, who refuse others the, the, the potential for leadership. So as a man, there's, there's different aspects to making room, right? As a man, you have to get out of the way of women. Like you absolutely have, and it isn't that you have to help women, please don't, don't right? Just get out of the way, right? Uh, don't, don't be too helpful, just remove yourself. So um, a lot of people look at your work and when they listen to this kind of conversation, and I'm specifically talking about policy making, for example, so they'd say, okay, so you do it, you give it, you give it, why do you 
ایوانوں میں اتنی باتیں کرتے ہیں اتنی پریزنٹیشنیں دیتے ہیں رپورٹیں لکھتے ہیں سو آئی وانٹ یو ٹو ایجوکیٹ ایس ابٹ آن پالیسی میکنگ اینڈ وائی از اٹ امپورٹنٹ سو فرسٹ آف آئی مین اٹس ریلی اوبیسلی ایز یو فائنلی سر اٹس ویری امپورٹنٹ ٹو می بیکاز مجھے لگتا ہے کہ جب میں یونیورسٹی سے نکلا تھوڑا بہت پڑھ لکھ کے تو مجھے میں یہ سوچتا تھا کہ ہمارے ملک میں کتنا پوٹینشیل ہے اور ہمارے قائد نے کیا سوچا تھا اور ہم شاید وہاں تک نہیں پہنچ پائے ہیں تو وہ جو پوٹینشیل ہے ہمارا وہ کس طرح اچیو ہو سکتا ہے تو بہت سارے میرے دوستوں نے یہ سمجھا کہ وہ بڑا بزنس کریں گے اور بہت دولت کمائیں گے اور اس سے ان کو بھی فائدہ ہوگا اور شاید وہ اور بھی فائدہ کر سکے اور دوستوں نے سوچا کہ وہ نان پرافٹس یا این جی اوز کے ساتھ کام کر کے جو چیز حکومت یا پرائیویٹ سیکٹر نہیں کرتا وہ کر سکتے ہیں فار می آئی آلویز فیلٹ دیٹ اسکیل واز ریلی امپورٹنٹ بکاز وی بلانگ ٹو اے بگ کنٹری سو دا فرسٹ تھنگ ٹو بی کانشیس آف ان پاکستان ایز اے پاکستانی پالیسی ہیک از دس از اے میسو کنٹری اینڈ سو ایوری تھنگ از اسکیل رائٹ اینڈ دیٹ مینس دیٹ اف یو گیو منی ٹو اے مدرسا فار دا فوڈ فار مدرسا اسٹوڈنٹس دیٹس گریٹ بیکاز دیٹ That's, you're helping people. Or if you give money to TCF or to uh, Dr. Adib Rizvi's uh, hospital, this is a great job because this is a charity. Or Shokat Khanam, which I think there is probably no one Pakistani who has not given money over the last two or three decades. But, uh, two, two, two and a half decades. But I think the, the, the really uh, important thing to remember is that as much as you do charity, the scale of this country can only be able to do it only government. اور وہ ریاست کی ذمہ داری بھی ہے سو دا فرسٹ تھنگ ٹو انڈرسٹینڈ پالیسی میکنگ از دیٹ اٹ از دا اسٹیٹس ریسپانسبلٹی ٹو ٹیک کیئر آف اس اینڈ ناٹ جسٹ پور پیپل اٹس دا اسٹیٹس ریسپانسبلٹی ٹو میک شیور کہ سب یعنی کہ کمشنر کا بیٹا اور انڈسٹریلسٹ کا بیٹا اور اے ایس پی کا بیٹا اور مالی کی بیٹی اور رکشے والی کی بیٹی اور بینک سی ای او کی بیٹی یہ سب ایک کلاس روم میں بیٹھے ہوں کیونکہ یہ سب بائی ورچو آف بینگ ہیومن اینڈ بینگ سٹیزن قانون کی آنکھ میں قانون کی نظر میں دیر آل ایکول اچھا سو جسٹ گیرنگ بیک ٹو پالیسی میکنگ سو دا فرسٹ پرنسپل یہ اسٹیٹ کی ذمہ داری ہے دا سیکنڈ پرنسپل از دیٹ یو ہیو ٹو ہیو اے منیمم اسٹینڈرڈ فار ایوری بڑی سو ناؤ یو نو کہ اسٹیٹ کی ذمہ داری ہے اینڈ منیمم اسٹینڈرڈ فار ایوری بڑی یار یہ تو بڑا مہنگا کام ہے سو دا تھرڈ ایسپیکٹ آف پالیسی میکنگ از کہ سم بڑی ہیز ٹو پے فار آل دس Now, Omer, who is going to pay for all this? There's one person who doesn't have any money and doesn't have any chance of set, sending his kid to a good school. And there's one person who has a lot of money and is already spending money on sending his kid to a good school. Now, you're going to get upset, right? Because whoever has money, he'll say, why are you taking money from me? I'm going to send my kids to the school. I'm going to send my kids to the school. This is where there needs to be a social contract. For many years, I think it's for 25 years, for one generation, امیر پاکستانیوں کو ایک سودا کرنا پڑے گا اس دھرتی کے ساتھ باوجود اس کے کہ میں اپنی اپنی چیزوں کے لیے مجھے بہترین گاڑی کا شوق ہے بہترین گاڑی کا شوق ہے بہترین اسکول کا شوق ہے ٹھیک ہے تو یہ بہترین چیزیں جو مجھے میسر ہوئی ہیں جو اس دھرتی نے اور اس دھرتی کے لوگوں نے ایک طرح سے اپنے کندھوں پہ رکھ کے مجھے دیا نا اگر کوئی بہت بڑا انڈسٹریلسٹ ہے اس ملک میں تو یہیں سے کمایا ہے نا بھائی آپ چینی بیچتے ہو چینی اگر میں اور آپ چینی ڈالیں اپنی کوکا کولا میں ڈالیں اپنی اپنی چائے میں ڈالیں اپنے کھانوں میں مطلب وہ پھر آج کل کوکنگ شوز کا شوق ہے تو وہ ڈیزرٹس بن رہے ہیں تو یہ جو ہم مزے کر رہے ہیں ہم تو ذائقے کا مزہ کر رہے ہیں اور جو چینی بیچنے والے ہیں وہ وہ پروفٹ کما رہے ہیں سو دیئر پروفٹ از بیسڈ آن دا ہیپینیس اینڈ دا کنزمپشن آف آرڈنری پاکستانیز سو دے ہیو ٹو میک دیر ہیز ٹو بی اے سوشل کانٹریکٹ اور یہ پالیسی میکنگ کا اہم جز ہے کہ ہمیں پیسے ادھر ہی سے کمانے ہیں میں نے زیادہ تر پالیسی کا کام جو کیا ہے اس ملک میں وہ ڈونرز یا ورلڈ بینک ہو یا یو این ہو آپ نے میرا سی وی دیکھا ہوا ہے جو الف اعلان تھا وہ بھی ڈی ایف آئی ڈی فنڈیڈ تھا اور مجھے کوئی اس میں مطلب آئی ہیو نو ہیزیٹیشن الحمد للہ ویری پراؤڈ آف آلموسٹ ایوری تھنگ دیٹ آئی ہیو ڈن ویری اوپن اباؤٹ اٹ بٹ اف دس کنٹری از گن فکس اٹ سیلف It has to be financed by Pakistanis and not by poor Pakistanis, not through general sales tax, not through Octroy and, and those things. It has to be property tax, people who are comfortable, right? So not property, that you start taking two cameras, you start taking property tax, but you start taking five cameras, those people are doing okay. Those people are doing okay. They have to pay their share. If you drive a nice German car, you have to pay your share. If you fly on Emirates regularly, you have to pay your share. You, 
every, every, anybody who has a nice watch, मुझे आपकी घड़ी अच्छी लग रही है इसलिए मैं घड़ी का दो दफा कह चुका हूँ इफ यू हैव अस वॉच यू गॉट अ पे योर शेयर राइट बिकॉज देर पाकिस्तान इज आउट देर हुज अ पॉलिसी मेकर यू मेक दिस हैपन आई मीन दीज आर इम्पॉर्टेंट एस्पेक्ट दैट नीड टू हैपन एज अ पॉलिसी मेकर योर वर्क इज making this happen by speaking to the decision makers by tabling those bills by creating enough pressure by gathering those people just help the people understand that ye sab ye baat kehte hain ki ye hona chahiye ab ye mumkin banane ke liye ek policy environment mein jo kaam kar raha hai ab chahe aapki side pe kar raha hai chahe dusri table pe baitha hai wo kaise isko mumkin banate hain so hamara mere mera jo i think uh, focus raha hai career mein wo ye nahi tha ki ये जो मैंने आपको बयान किया ना दिस इज द पॉलिसी मेकिंग बेसिस इट्स अ स्टेट रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी देर हैज टू बी मिनिमम स्टैंडर्ड्स एंड समबडी हैज टू पे फॉर इट ये चीज़ें बड़ी सिंपल लगती हैं बट व्हेन यू पुट ऑल दिस टुगेदर यू आल्सो नीड टू कन्विंस पीपल एंड यू नीड टू कन्विंस पीपल ऑफ डूइंग समथिंग डिफरेंटली दैन द वे देव डन इट सो लेट्स टेक एजुकेशन एक जो बड़ी सक्सेस है पाकिस्तान की और वो अल फिलहान का नहीं है वो आपकी सक्सेस है कैमरे के पीछे जो भाई बैठे हैं उनकी है जो देख रहे हैं इस वक्त उनकी है ये पाकिस्तान की एक बड़ी सक्सेस है क्या आज से बीस पच्चीस साल पहले जितनी भर्तियाँ होती थी फॉर टीचर्स इट वॉज बेस्ड ऑन एम एन एज एंड एम पी एज राइडिंग डाउन द नेम्स ऑफ देयर फेवरेट पोलिटिकल वर्कर्स एंड गिविंग इट टू द चीफ मिनिस्टर और टू द एजुकेशन मिनिस्टर एंड दोज गाइज यूज टू गेट जॉब्स एज टीचर्स पोलिटिकल वर्कर्स गेटिंग जॉब्स एज प्राइमरी स्कूल टीचर्स अब उन स्कूलों में क्या होना था जाहिर बात है वही होना था जो हो रहा है अभी तक उसमें नहीं सो इन इन टू थाउजेंड इलेवन ट्वेल्व Uh, this pressure started building, building, and then in 2013 we started the Alif Elan campaign, and we this was one of our foremost pressure points. Mm-hmm. Donors ne bhi press kiya, jo purane yahan pe NGOs pehle se Alif Elan se bahut better aur bahut sare aur bhi non-profits hain jo taaleem pe kam karte rahe. Sab ka ye zor tha, bade arse se ki kisi tarah hukumat merit-based recruitment kare teacheron ki. So I'm Alhamdulillah, I'm happy to say that today NTS ka apne shayad naam suna ho. So now people have to give a test. They have to have a minimum qualification to be hired as teachers. Now that's a big, that's a big sea change. So आप जो पूछे थे ना कि ये how does it all come together? So we made this one small change. This must have taken five thousand people talking to fifty thousand other people over ten years trying to convince them. Um, thank you very much. I think it was very interesting and the bridge analogy. It also reminded me of this story that I tell in my trainings that you know you see people falling off the bridge and you want to save them underneath the bridge and you can do as much as you want, but people just keep falling and we are a big population country and somebody needs to be fixing the bridge so that people don't fall in the first place. So, so yes, fixing the bridge and also I loved it when you said that five thousand people speak to fifty thousand people over a decade to get that. constitutional change done to get teachers to be vetted before they are recruited or to get students a certain thing and that effort is what you your team and many many other development organizations have been putting together fascinating i'd like you to talk about one project that that you yourself are very very proud of and tell us a little about it yeah no man so i i really struggle with the proud part because i feel like um at one level i think alif alan was remarkable because uh we amazingly we we never got uh, challenged for the credibility uh, of our work even though personally i was quite critical uh, at various points in time of both uh, major political parties i'm reasonably critical of uh, of of the establishment and you know and despite all of these things uh, nobody nobody felt so angry with me ever that they went and attacked alif alan I find that to be amazing but that's not really a credit or I I can't take pride in that I mean that to me the pride should be the people that supported the campaign and the pride should be the politicians themselves even even the ones that we don't necessarily like because they took that data seriously and and they committed to even if it was zabani kalami but they committed themselves to trying to fix those problems so I you know it's hard for me to sort of express pride I was very happy uh when I had the opportunity to serve the country at the foreign office uh, I was asked to join in 2011 and I was there until 2013 um it was a very difficult time I mean I sat on the job offer for many months and then there was a very uh, you might remember it was a very tragic incident by the name of the Salala attack yeah it was in November late November 2011 and 
we found out about it in the morning because it started at past midnight and it went on for an hour and a half. Subha jo bhutte to pata chala hai ye hamare border pe hamare sipahiyon ko aur unko shaheed kiya gaya hai. Do major the usme. And I felt like that was going to really be a breach with the U.S. and with Afghanistan. Things were going to get really bad. So, so you know, I accepted uh, the offer to, to join um, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. And we, we worked there at a quite difficult time. And I think we helped uh, repair relations with Afghanistan. Because President Karzai had been complaining and making, I think, false accusations about Pakistan. So we, you know, there was, there was a cold war there. And then with the Salala thing, you know, I mean, things got really tense with the US. And when I left, you know, those things had been repaired. Now, I wasn't the one repairing them, but I was part of the team that was working towards those things. And I felt a great, uh, a great sense of pride at that. Um, there's been, I think one of the other things I'm always proud of is how brave and resilient Pakistanis are. And again, I, I don't consider myself in that list, but I feel like hopefully I'm associated with those people and I'm, I'd like to think that I help enable that a little bit by, by making room. Um, uh, we'd like to do a quick rapid fire with you. So your role model in life? Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. One thing that annoys you the most? Me. Well, that's a rapid time gone. Sorry. Right? But yes, <laughs> but, but me is a dear man. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Right. Great. As a child, what did you want to be when you were growing up? I wanted to make a difference in. Uh, yeah, I wanted to make a difference. Hmm. The first thing that you do when you get up in the morning? Uh, sadly, I look at my phone, which is terrible. <laughs> Your, what, what technology can transform Pakistan? Patience. Hmm. TV shows you would recommend? Oh, you know, I, I, The West Wing over and over and over again. The West Wing over and over and over again. Uh, a book that you have read over five times? It's funnily, it's Muhammad by Martin Lings. Uh, one thing you would like to change about yourself? I'd like to take better care of my health. Eat better, sleep better, live better. And what is happiness for you? My, uh, my family. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Quickly, just building upon that, another segment that we've added is a quick career advice from professionals like yourselves who've been there, done so much. A lot of people who were aspiring to be in the development work, in the work that you're doing, um, their questions usually, the ones that we receive is, okay, so where do I start? What do I do and what to expect? My career has been a series of uh, fortunate happenstances. I, I was so lucky to meet the right people at the right time, to impress people with a question from the audience and then call, get, get called in to talk to someone, um, to have gone to school with someone and, and been able to work with them. So I think I always say not everyone's going to be as lucky as I am, but I also like to say, you have to be able to work the other guy or gal under the table. And, and what I mean by that is, it doesn't matter what profession you're in, work the other guy under the table. Just outwork people. Uh, there's no substitute for a commitment to overcome all other distractions and be able to work harder and longer than anybody else. Uh, I don't know if I always live up to that, but I certainly always aspire to that. And to this day, I, I like to challenge my, the people I work with. Uh, I say, listen, you know, I will work you under the table. And I, I like to create a competitiveness about the work environment. Now that doesn't, there are extremes that we shouldn't go to. So people's health, uh, your mental health in particular, take care of yourself. One is work harder than anybody else. And the other is, it's not really about your feelings. Work is not about your feelings. If you're in the public policy space or you want to work in development, it isn't about how a school makes you feel. I mean, that doesn't mean you separate your feelings, but feelings is a space that has to be separate from your work. It's about effectiveness and impact. Um, last question, what is next? Um, so we, you know, me and a few colleagues, we got together uh, when we were thinking about life after Alif Alan, and we, we wanted to 
we wanted to work on public policy, uh, not just education, but other areas, using the same kind of model, uh, convincing serious people, decision makers, influential people about the value of looking at data and making decisions about what needs to be done based on evidence. Uh, so we're taking that model and we're trying to apply it to various aspects. Uh, so we're working on a thing, uh, I mean, we've, we've established a think tank that we call Tabad Lab, which is a mix between Tabadla and laboratory, so Tabad Lab. Uh, and it's, uh, Tabadla is an exchange like the one we're having, Tabadla Khayal or Ayamara. Um, and lab is where you experiment. So it's a place where hopefully we're, we'll, we'll experiment with ideas about change and ideas about connectivity. Okay, so, so we, we're asking every guest to bring one thing and of course we asked you to. So you brought us something and we, I want to look at it and please also tell us why did you choose to bring what you have brought for so, us? So, uh, so this is my cap um, and this is, uh, this is uh, the Toronto Maple Leafs. Mm -hmm. So as I mentioned, I, you know, I was, uh, grew up in, in southern Ontario and the greater Toronto area and uh, this team <laughs> is, uh, you know, I followed this team since I was, uh, since I was a wee child. Like, wow. literally since I was two years old. Wow, good to know. Great luck with the Bad Lab. Thank you and so much. what a wonderful, this has been, I mean, of all the people that we have met, I must tell you, this has been tuck, 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 right, fix, fitting into the right boxes. And thank you very much for doing it, Musharraf Saab. And I hope that so many people listening, watching, uh, do reach out, do look at Musharraf's work. It's fantastic. He writes every week. He also has a podcast going. And it's ideas coming from people like him with so much experience and have, having spent time in the power centers. Um, I think that after doing it, our opinions have more value, more maturity. And as you have said, there is more evidence space. I think this has been an example of one. I'm inspired. I hope you are too. Until next time.